So I'm just going to double click the V6. This is very much like downloading the export template from inside Visual Studio. I confirm that I want to install it. It says that I need to close and open Visual Studio for that to work. So I'll close it and open it. And now let's make a new project. And there's shiny red WPF application with the crummy little icon and the crummy preview image because we left them blank. But it's definitely here and I can use it. I'll create an application from that template. And I'll open the main window XAML. Drag on some sort of control. Do a label this time. And run the application. Now you can see that we have everything we need for our WPF application. All of the references, all of the dependencies, the XAML, and so forth and so on have all been included in the template. That single v6 file is completely self-contained and has everything we need in order to use the template immediately. One of the things you may be wondering is how to make it go away. If we look in that folder where we deleted the other zip file, you'll notice that the installation process has not put anything else in here. In fact, uh, you can look all over your hard drive trying to find where the .zip for shiny red WPF application has been put, but that's not the way to manage these templates anymore. It's now done through the extension manager the same way that it was installed. So if I don't want to have this template in here anymore, I go into extension manager, choose shiny red WPF application, and uninstall it. Once I've done that, if I go into new, There's no sign of it because it's gone. So there's one thing left to fix up, and that's the missing icon and preview image and the HTML file. And I have prepared some of these. A lot of people are not clear where they could get a .ico file, an icon. But if you've got Visual Studio installed, you have tons and tons of icons available to you. You have to know this folder name, and I'm not going to suggest that you would magically know it, but under your program files, x86, because Visual Studio is still a 32-bit app and I'm on a 64-bit machine, Microsoft Visual Studio 10, Common 7, there's a folder called VS 2010 Image Library. And I have English, which is 1033 installed, so I'm under the 1033 folder. And there's this zip. It's complicated to try to unzip it in place because of UAC under program files, so I dragged it out here onto my desktop. And you can poke around in here and find tons of ICOs representing things that you probably recognize immediately as a Visual Studio user. Like, hey, I know that icon. I've seen that icon, right, in the new templates. And I poked around uh, underneath here, and I found this red flag and copied it out. And that's a handy little ICO file that we can use to be the icon for Shiny Red WPF app. Then I just brought up the snipping tool that comes with Windows 7, and I took a screenshot of my starting point running. And that's a perfectly good preview. A screenshot, if your thing is a project template, a screenshot of the application running works for me. And then I wrote a tiny little bit of XML. With very rudimentary form formatting, uh, no fonts, no colors, nothing, just some text. But I did put a link uh, into the place where the shiny red theme came from uh, so that people can know how themes work. I have these three files sitting on my desktop ready to use when I generate the v6 template again and go through the wizard again. So let's go back into Visual Studio and switch back to the starting point. And using the export template as v6 extension that we've installed, go on the file menu, export template as v6. Project template, which I will call shiny red WPF app. I'll just put a 2 on it so that we're clear that it's a different one. A WPF application with the shiny red theme applied. And now I'm going to browse for the icon on my desktop. I'm going to browse for the preview image also on my desktop. And I'm going to browse for the file of HTML on my desktop. So with these three things hooked in, I say next.
and undo the automatically import and finish. Remember we pulled the previous v6 file out onto the desktop to install it. If we had not, we would have got a warning about do you want to overwrite it here in the My Exported Templates. I'm just going to double click it here in place to install it into Visual Studio. Install. I need to close and open Visual Studio, so I'll do that. So now when we say new project, scroll down a little, here's our shiny red WPF app 2 with the nice red flag icon. And when I click on it, you see the preview here. That's just as simple as it is to get a better looking experience here. And these are also used uh, because they're in the V6 itself. When you upload to the gallery, they'll be used on the gallery. I'm going to say OK to actually create an application out of this. So I want you to see the welcome.htm has been included, it's just carrying now along in the payload along with the rest of the files that were in my original starter solution, and Visual Studio opens that file automatically. So you can have any kind of instructions here, links, you can also have images, just make sure you add those images into your solution, typically in a solution folder, and use relative links, keeping in mind where the welcome.htm is going to end up to talk to the images. So now you've got a self-documenting template that tells people about itself, that shows them the icon in the preview so they know what they're getting and when they use it they get this little bit of explanation. You can theme this up according to your corporate look and feel and really give people a very slick powerful overall experience. And this works whether you then just take that V6 and email it to them or whether you upload it to the gallery uh, to be shared with the general public. Either way you've got this nice professional appearance. I think it's really worth taking the time to do.